written to introduce King Charles' stamp and banknotes gradually. Ogun communities lament 100 years darkness, electricity project rots. Ogun blogger released after 138 days. NDLEA burns 194 billion naira worth of cocaine seized in Ikorodu. Songwolu announces arrival of metropolitan trains. Fans hail Mikel Obi as he retires from football. Good day and welcome to the podium news. My name is Confidence Silver. The introduction of the new British banknotes and stamps featuring King Charles III's image will be implemented gradually. The Royal Mail and Bank of England on Tuesday said they have received guidance from the Charles Royal Household aimed at minimizing cost and ensuring a sustainable transition. Updated banknotes bearing the portraits of the king will be revealed by the end of the year, the Bank of England has said. No fewer than 58 communities in the Yewa North local government area of Ogun State have lamented the hardship of living in darkness for more than 100 years, despite a World Bank electrification project in the area. The landlords, residents and business owners who spoke said they have never enjoyed power supply since the creation of the communities. The affected communities include Alagbada, Fayoyi, Ajegule, Arikpa 1, Arikpa 2, Abule Alata, Aruku, Pakoyi, Lashilo, Aloje, Idiroku, Ajaka Isale and Ajaka Oki. Ahmed Olamileko, the blogger, detained over an article written on the alleged criminal past of the Ogun State Governor, Dakpo Abiodu, has been released on bail. Podium gathered that the blogger, popularly known as Labash, who appeared before the Federal High Court won Abiokuta, the Ogun State capital, was released after spending 138 days in detention. His lawyer, Habib White, confirmed his release. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency on Tuesday destroyed 1.8 tons of cocaine worth 194.7 billion naira that was recently seized in a warehouse in the Ikorodu area of Lagos State. The warehouse was raided early in September while the barons were picked from their hideouts in different parts of Lagos State. The governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, has announced that the metropolitan trains for the Red Lane project have arrived the state. Sonwolu made this announcement in a series of tweets on Tuesday via his official Twitter handle. On the 15th April 2021, when I performed the groundbreaking ceremony of our Red Line Metro project, I announced that we would hit major milestones quickly. I am excited to announce that the twin Talgo Intracity 10 coach metropolitan trains for the project have arrived in Lagos, he said. Goodwill messages have poured in for former Super Eagles captain Mikel Obi after he announced his retirement from professional football. He announced his decision to retire after 20 years in his career on Tuesday via his Instagram page. Former coaches, teammates and current Super Eagles players have all taken to his Instagram page to pen tribute to Obi who announced his retirement from football. Thank you for staying tuned. My name still remains Confidence Silver. Subscribe to our YouTube channel Podium International TV for more information. Till next time, remain blessed.